way too small of air intakes. So the flu is all the way out, full airflow. This fire has died out like three times. Right down at like that lower angle. So it needs about at least that much airflow to actually work properly. And that's a heavy, heavy smoke fire just to demonstrate how little airflow that it actually gets makes it hard to maintain a house stove fire. This is basically out. I turned off the light too early. So I'm just blowing down directly into that. This stove's got me more curious on how they designed it. It looks like they left an old mechanism in there. some funky stuff there. So yeah, the only way to get this kind of fireplace because it's doesn't have a a clear shoot or flue for the air to go up into as the heat is gathering, I actually have to leave it ajar a little bit. And if you run into that, you definitely have to have some kind of finer screening than this, because this is a circulation vent. When you turn it on, the air just goes around the casing, basically to cover here so you can leave it a gap You still got a chance of smoke coming out the top of it. So it's not much to do on this, it just has to be managed very closely until the fire's really good. So 
see, once it gets going though, turned on the uh, power switch for the motors, which are right there. And the air slightly comes out the two side vents. You can feel it really good coming out here. pretty good at allowing the air to flow in this way or the hot air is coming out this way so this one would do a lot better if it had a, a door that hinged from the top and closed and connect to the bottom just because it has that blockage up in there and it doesn't really have much of a ceiling height for the heat to gather and create a force going up. Okay, so I know how long that's been, but at least an hour. See, and that's how bad the circulation is in there. That at its full capacity, they won't even burn an old catalog. Cells. Definitely an issue with the uh, exhaust. It takes nothing for smoke to roll in.